He's set and the one two pitch. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. Another one two delivery hit in the air to shallow center. Kiermeyer coming on. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. Marlins lead one. And as you can see they are way behind. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Daniel Robertson. And to Leading start out the inning, the it looks like they've decided That's to stick with the hitter. same reliever out Get there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the oh, way he pitched that. the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and now watch their guys swing the bat Number a bit. 11. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. So stepping in, number 11. He's newly entered into the ballgame, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. First pitch on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. Comes set with the 0-1. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. Oh, what happened? He can't make the play. Around second. He's on his way to third. Well, it took him till the seventh, but now he gets his first hit of the, the game here, and that'll extend his hitting Evan. streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out Niermeyer. of his—he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day. Dan kept the front shoulder tuck, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, Dero, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is he hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. But that'll be off the right field wall. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Pro won't get him. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Well, I say those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI right there for a little bit more breathing room. Into the box now, G-Man Choi. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. But that'll be off the wall in right center. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. Now about it. Number eight. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, d -Row. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup, and that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bond, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Catch made out there in center field as the runner will tag from second. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Matt Duffy. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. Boy, and the shellacking continues as this is down for extra bases. Sometimes it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. A lot of things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another, some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up, and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. Now at the plate, Michael Perez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at-bat. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field, and that is off the wall in right field. The throw into second. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. 
Now batting. Catcher. Mike. Tehran Guerrero comes on to pitch now, Your hoping for better please. results than the other arms that they've the run out there in this one. Number 56, Tyron Guerrero. Mike Zanino will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In there, 0 and 1. Guerrero is a guy that you'll notice attacks hitters with a high velocity slider. Not the old sweeper. He really fires it in there and snaps off big numbers. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Hot shot on the ground is short. And the throw is wide as he couldn't keep his foot on the bag that time. And we'll have now to see how they want to score that play. Fielder. Man, this is a perfect summary of how the game has gone oh, for him. They yeah. haven't been able to hit, catch, or throw all game long. In fact, they should just throw a 10 over this thing because this has become a three-ring circus. Digging in to try it again. Guillermo Heredia, two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Oh one. Here's the pitch. Line to the right side. In there. Base hit. And that ought to get the run in from third. Yeah, Matt, hard to stay focused on the game when the score is this far yeah, out that, of hand, that, especially when you're on the losing yeah, side of it. Even as broadcasters, Robert, it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. Stepping in now, Daniel Robertson. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Boy, and call off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. And the second run will score as well. Well, that's why they call the baseball bat. a game of inches. Number 11. Yeah, you're right, Matt. He showed some serious hops, but not serious enough. He goes up high for it with a good leap, but he just can't bring it in, and that allows him to cruise into second with a good piece of hitting. Standing in now, number 11. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Calling for it, Guerrero, and that retires the side. But a big inning here as seven runs cross the plate, and this lead grows even wider. We'll look. Look ahead to inning number eight now. The Rays are out in front, 26 to nothing. At the plate, Jorge Alfaro. He leads off their half of the eighth, and Leading they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Jorge. Yeah, he settled Alfaro. in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Not a bad idea right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. Throws the first pitch for a strike. They need to get some runners on base and not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Walker. Ready for another chance. Neil Walker, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. 
got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to now finish this it. one off. Number and with 65. that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Striding in once again, Gabby Guerrero. He's one for two in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball over the outside, but in there for a strike. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Miami down in order, and they remain well, well behind. Digging in and looking for more, Kevin Kiermaier. It was an RBI double Those for him in his last turn to the plate. Kevin. Yeah, he did a great job Kiermaier. to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how. He... Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center, racing back the center fielder. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. Man, he's wishing right now this game could now go on forever or, or at least baseball. until he can get up again because otherwise George. that is probably his last at bat of the game, leaving him one leg shy of hitting for the cycle. Regardless, he's had an incredible game. In now, G-Man Choi. Line hard down the line and right. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Here's the 0-2. Pulled toward right center field. Guerrero is in pursuit. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Great job of offensive execution there. Lead off triple, and then the sack fly to bring home a run. Now to the plate, Brandon Lowe. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Clean slate on the base pass after that sack fly a minute ago. So now's the time to be aggressive with these hitters. Go right after them and try to get out of this inning with only one run score. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The third baseman. Stepping five. up to the plate, Matt Duffy, Matt. hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That's what happens when a slider doesn't do what you want it to do. That was Number just one of those three. cement mixers, kind of just spinning but doing nothing. Nice job of punishing that pitch and picking up two bags on one swing. Into the box now, Michael Perez. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. 